here the ABX chart and currently if you see at the levels I will zoom in this one 35.21 was the last closing and it made a low of 35.05 which was pretty much higher than the low formed previously by the candle 34.87 and now look at the pattern it started going up from here this price from where it took previously support 29 and made a high of around 40 from 29 to 40 from June till mid-August. So it was like June, July and August. Like two and a half months it made a rally from 29 to 40 then started falling back again and stayed at this resistance level which was like 32. But very recently it has broken down this resistance and it may go down again ultimate levels to uh, to 32. But previously it stayed there for 32 for, for a period of time as was a support at that point of time. So it may go down again to this level. But we have a, a support here as well at 3480, which is not a very, very strong one, but still there is a support. But I think it can act as a strong support because of this here. Let me draw the line. Here's some other coordinates as well, which matches yes. here. Yeah. So this can act as a support as well. And it is currently very much close. And for the last two sessions, the low of the of the price hasn't gone below this 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 line and has remained uh, almost constant, like low for twenty first October and low for twenty twenty third and twenty second October are like almost similar. So this line can also act as a support. So it, it can start going from here. So this next price to look at thirty four point seven one. If it is not falling below 34.71, it can take a shift like here. Like uh, there might be some news here or something because of which the stock like like flight from 35 to to 38 to the level of opening level of 39. This was the closing level around 35, and the next day opening level was 39. There would would, would have been some news or something in here. So we may expect something similar to this pattern which was observed in in august so stock can take support from here and start moving up but if it doesn't take support then it can fall down i can recall we, we discussed this stock like in, in either the last week or the week before in that session uh, yeah i think it was in a week before in that session the stock was here the price was at this point and we were discussing that it will go up to the next resistance level it went there and then came back again after a week time after two week time one week till here and then second week till here again at to, to its support level but at this time it has broken down the support and falling below so if we talk about the earnings earnings were here like positive uh, was it the earning impact here the price fall down yeah, i seem so so 20 the earning date is 10th of August and the share price when this exactly happened if you look here 10th and on the 11th there was a fall here 10th 0.3 and then the Adagio candle okay they gave a dividend after the dividend stock didn't fell it should have been an X but a small amount then now we are expecting 0.44 earnings, which are higher than that. So, it, uh, but it still has like some time, like around two weeks time for the earnings to come. So in my opinion, the levels should be to wash out will be 34.71 to, to be closely washed out. And if it sustains this level, then the next levels could be again back to its previous resistance level of uh, which is the immediate resistance of 37 37 and then the next should be 40 so that's how i look at this stock i have just one question and one observation yeah. november 3rd round the corner november 5th i think is the earning date stimulus expected from uh, both uh, us and, and canada yep exactly and you have a strong support line at 3471 exactly 3471 is the strong support so do you think if somebody were to take a calculated gamble, 3471 to 37 or 39? If the market turns out to be positive, every stock, because every a, stock stimulus is expected, a stimulus is expected 
and the results and by and the presidential uh, results yeah more yeah. no november 3 is the date so. november 3rd and then we have earnings on november 5th so yes this can act as a stimulus because in every stock this is not the case like two results just one result so this can be a good good analysis yeah that's great it could be a calculated gamble if we can if we works on it yep i i agree to that so it can be like somewhere around this range 37 to yeah 37 to 38 37 to 50 and then 37 to 50 should be a target buy at 35 or 35 and keep a stop at 34 75 that can be a good thing anything else you want to add so we could come out or anything from the participants they want to ask something on this i think this is good stop loss yeah stop loss would be a little lower than that i would say somewhere around 34 50 or 34 20 or something like that yeah 34 20 a dollar below you can say 34 20 would be a stop loss and then your target is 37.50. Yeah. That 37.50 is the target. Yeah. Can you move on to the next one? Okay. What should be the next one? Look at A Canada or PXT. A Canada. I'm holding A Canada and I just liquidated 50% of the portfolio I think on fr- Friday. Okay. So uh, stock was rising at that day so you liquidated some I also liquidated few of the stocks. Like around forty seven fifty shares, and still I am holding a good uh, percentage. Mm. Okay, so Air Canada, uh, there was a news I think in, uh, for Air Canada. Let's have a look on that. Air Canada news: Canada stocks taxing on the back of the airlines, course aviation, other airlines on the runway. Yeah, course aviation was uh, in demand on that day. Air Canada receives a new AATA certification for combating wildlife trade. And then six percent up as well comes news on Alberta COVID nineteen. Yeah, this was the major one which drove the price actually. Alberta government and the federal government they signed an agreement and to do the this COVID testing for all the the passengers on the airport. And if they are, are tested negative, they don't need to do this fourteen days quarantine. So this has impacted the uh, the airline industry overall. And this is the initiative between Air Canada and the government. so because of that the stock has been moved up this the similar news came uh, around a month before and at that time also we saw the stock going up maybe no not in july somewhere here in during these days these two days and now also these two days so news impact i would say now it's cooling down so the next day will be and now stock is also at its resistance level if you see here yep The stock is also at the resistance level. News impact cool down, and the last candle is a dodgy candle. So neither on the both sides, it went up, didn't sustain, went down, didn't sustain, and closed in the middle. It's sort of like a dodgy candle, indecisiveness in the market. So next day, um, it may start like falling bit, little bit down. But the good thing here is we have a uh, a gap here. The stock can fill up the gap as well. So the news impact previously lasted for two days. Here also two days, or two or maximum three days. So wherever there are green candles, most of them we have like red ones in in Air Canada. But the green ones, okay, this was exceptional, very high. And the green candles last only for like two days. One day, one day, two days, one, two, three, then two here, then two here, then two here. And the shape of candle is not very much promising. To be honest, if the shape was similar to this candle, or with a downside price rejection, that would have been a much positive uh, candle and a strong one with respect to the share price. But honestly speaking, uh, you may see the stock to go down on Monday if there is no other news or something related to this stock that I perceive. So watch out in the P market or watch out during the first hour how the stock. behaves so that could be an important one if we talk about the rsi rsi we have still room available in rsi as per rsi we can we can still impact maybe maximum of one more positive closing based on this rsi thing and the volumes uh, shoot up because of the news and the third day it will again come down to its normal levels 
we talk about the earnings on 9th of November, negative 2, and then negative 6. So it is improving from negative 6 to negative 2. And then again, this will have an effect. So you will see this total maybe again back to its normal level of 15.5 to 16 by the by, by two to three weeks time unless there is some news which can drive the stock price so currently it is flowing in this channel okay extend this previously extend to here so most of the time it is in this channel it goes up then comes back trading this channel went up came back trading in this channel and if it goes up sell it book the profit and wait for the stock to come back again rsi have a little bit space volume coming back to normal and there is a tendency the stock will start moving back again in this channel and by the way whenever it moved here whenever it it crossed 17 and uh, left this original channel this was always an impact of news this news was those if uh, you guys can remember when the uh, air canada was raising funds by ventures and the other, through other other sources it accumulated funds so from 14 15 level it touched like 23 that was a huge spike like four months back and then bits of news is here some news is on the covid testing here because of which the stock uh, made some high of 18 18.919 and then again the same impact of the news is here so now important thing to watch out is the next day session next day session like we can say 60 percent chance that impact of news is going to cool down 40 percent chances that it can make another day another positive uh, or a green day that's what i would say on this i agree Dayan. yeah maybe they can be a different scenario but the history of air canada is not so strong that when it starts going up it readies up and it is only going up because of the news and that news is already you know has taken the price has already taken the effect of news so further how long it can go the third session can tell and this is like it's a resistance level also candle is also not strong so that's what my analysis is on this stock so would you keep your next selling target at 1850 or 19 somewhere between 1815 to 19 because 19 it touched just one day but it didn't give it yes. didn't uh, yeah two days yeah 19 and 19 two days here so somewhere between 1850 and 90 close like uh, you can sell 50 percent on 1850 and 50 percent on like 1890 or 90 and this will be uh, there's no history that stock sustains this price just on one day it moved very high and then next day started falling down again absolutely made rally here made two days ready for 19 came back again so I hope it goes back again to that level because there is a gap here, which is like giving me some sort of like comfort that stock may go up. So Monday it will be very important for Air Canada Monday, to watch. So Monday is the day we should be liquidating Air Canada and then waiting for it to come down to fifteen seventy eight. If so it goes, yeah. If it starts falling down, you can liquidate yeah. some of the uh, some of those shares which you have bought at price less than seventeen, which are in profit. You mm -hmm. can sell those shares and get them back when they are around fifteen fifty. Yeah, but if I only yeah, get the, my selling order at eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty is your selling. Yeah, the last selling batch is at eighteen fifty. Okay. You, you, I'll you, get out. I'll get out on completely. Yeah, and then there's earnings coming up, so. Earnings okay. in, in three weeks time. So in three weeks time again, it will be at the same level, fifteen fifty or sixteen. Yeah, at 15, 10, 15, 50, might as well buy it again. Yeah. So, yeah, could... that's what my plan is. Yeah. So, on Monday, if the stock is green, it's going up, so then hold on to it to 18, to level of at least 18. 18 is gap filling point if it is green. Hmm. So, but if hmm. it is red, then sell yeah, few of the shares so that you can buy those again here at Absolutely. 15. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We can make this swing. So it is not lasting here in this region. Above 17, it's not sustaining. For some reason, it's sustained for like week and a half or two weeks here. But if it look over like five months period, six months period, it's not sustaining. It's only going up on the news and falling down. So whenever there is news, it is lasting for two, two to three days max. 
and it's already hit bottom range on three different locations. Yeah. That is simply dangerous because a fourth hit could could go further down. You're about twelve. Yes, yeah, it is trying a one on almost there. Two, three, four. On four times it has. I hope it doesn't make like that. I will be badly impacted. But yeah, there, there is something here. One, uh, almost there. Two, three, four. At four times it gave. Um, it, uh, yeah, it that, took a that is what is actually troubling me most because if it comes down, it will be a straight down to about eleven fifty or or uh, ten. But that can be only a news. Only news. A bad news can make it. Of course. It. Of course. There is a descending triangle pattern which is being formed. Yes. Okay, so this the line below the red line can act as a baseline. So whenever there is a descending triangle pattern, so this was a high and there was a selling pressure, price fell down, and then another second time again the price shooted up, and there was selling pressure again, price fell down. Here we are looking at the selling pressure again, and the price is not able to sustain falling down again. Next time it makes a high, I fear that that high is less than this high. Because this pattern is like higher than the, than the low and the low, so it is making high lower highs. Yeah, it's making lower highs, and then the point will come where the selling pressure will exhaust, and then this support level will exhaust, and then it may start falling down from here, as uh, we mentioned here. The next maybe thirteen, around, but ten fifty eleven. Yeah, thirteen point eight. It can be first one, and then the next. But this is like, to be honest, is, uh, the chances for this to happen may are not like very, very much positive. Like it can go down further to these levels. But this has been acting as a support for a very long time, and now government has started taking a little bit interest in it, and we can see that government might they they, they are supporting it. So the price may go up, and if the new news of this fourteen days quarantine relaxation. So this can trigger a positive stimulus rather than any negative stimulus. Other, the only thing is the price, the uh, the earnings, which may uh, result as a uh, which may give a bad impression, and the price may fall a bit, which it did on the last time as well, and it took a support. So some, and here um, on this date as well on 9th of November, uh, maybe again it it takes a support and turns back. So I would say that fifteen point two five, fifteen fifteen fifty can be a good time to buy it again. Yeah, predominantly, I think this support will fifteen twenty eight or fifteen twenty will give a very strong support. Primarily because yeah. it's a government government controlled stock. Exactly. That's the prime reason why. So yeah. those who are fearing about uh the bankruptcy or something similar to that uh, i don't agree to that comments to those comments and i strongly believe that the government is there to support yep okay uh, can we move on to the next one can we take microsoft msft msft microsoft for nasdaq okay microsoft 216 you have inside information call and there's earnings coming up that's why earning coming up okay so this is support here and then we have uh this is acting as a resistance and then another line here okay and then i will draw one more Okay, the earning is one point five, and the earning was one point four. And what happened after the earnings? Stock fell down. Why? It was surprised. Why? One point four, and then the stock opened up with a gap, and then fell down. Here also, the earning is there on twenty seventh of October, which is the next session. Uh, two days after on twenty seventh to the Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yep, twenty seven yeah. is Tuesday. On Tuesday, so Monday could be a good day for this stock. But what's happening here? It's on previous day's earning. The stock is going down. One day before the earning date, it's a red candle, and here, one day before, it's a red candle. 
let's go back and check one day before the earning it's a positive with a gap of opening and the earning was 1.5 the here let's see it's the same earning 27th and it is a resistance so even if it increases it goes to 223 so from last two three sessions it is going up and then now it's at a resistance so if it breaks this resistance then the next target could be 223 otherwise it would uh, it would come down again so earning pressure is there all the movement right now will be because of the earnings so and it gives a dividend as well so la for the for the last two earnings the price has actually uh, on one day previous to that has gone down and on the earning date it is positive on earning date it's positive always and one day before it's negative so one day before will be monday so if monday if it goes down it will follow its previous trend because now actually it's at resistance as well but the second good point is we have a downside price rejection so which indicates the price is uh, the stock is in uptrend and it's it has still has a space to go up so i would say yes the earning is driving the price for the next two days and it can go up to 223 which can be 223 or it will face like somewhere around 220 so 220 can be a target for this based on the earnings uh, rsi is also moving up it has still has space so by the by the two days time the rsi will uh, almost be there at the previous levels of 60 so what do you think come on on this yeah thanks for that uh, one more observation which i was seeing looking at the charts two or three days after the earning there is a gap of opening if you see the last two earning yeah, we have a gap um, all this one also you have gap up yeah uh, and not no. not the next day uh, in two to three okay. days after the yeah this one is small this, one, this, yeah. this small gap up yeah there is a small gap here and this gap is later on filled out this yeah. is a big gap and this gap has already also been filled but yeah this is a good pattern to analyze okay there is a gap up opening after a few days but before the earning but after the earning this there is downfall as well downfall and the gap of earning to cover that so after the earnings or before the earning one red candle and then on the earning date a green candle and the next day gap up or gap down opening here is a gap down opening and price also fell down after the earnings so this rise we can say this 2 3 three days ready and the fourth day if it comes up after the earnings it will go down and after 3 4 days at it was given in last two earnings it did a gap up opening so after the earning date earning is released maybe most of the time is in the uh, post market sessions uh, after our sessions the price is being moved so at, uh, on the earning day maybe you can sell it at a good price because after the earning what's happening after the earning is going down and even it's opening with a gap down earning price opened with a gap up gap and then it fell down though it gave a closing little bit above but there was uh, a selling pressure after the earning date let's go back and see okay there a gap down opening after the earning and on the earning day as well it made a higher than uh it made higher and gave a negative closing on the earning day next day also going down but here there is again after 3 days it went up so yeah. temp- this is like earnings uh what the earning pattern is for the last 3 3 quarters is like on the earning date you can exit and then when it fall down in next 2 3 session buy it back again so it will recover whatever it has lost in last 3 days session that's how i'm looking at it yeah even i was looking at the same with that yeah, yeah because on the earnings uh before the earning it it's fine uh, it makes a small rally earning date sell it and after 3 days buy it back so whatever has been lost in last 3 day session it will be covered in next one or next two day sessions 
So if we predict it here, so on the earnings day, what could be a positive? So if it goes up positive, the next day it will come back again, maybe 212 and next three days. And then from 212 to again back to around 218 to 220. So those who have already bought it, that's good. Those who haven't bought it yet, they can enter or to be on the safe side. They can enter somewhere around like 212. 212 to 220 could be the point for the next week. Or if someone still wants to enter it, 216, they can enter at this at these levels. If it is still green on the next day, because currently it is a, it's a resistance. If it is green, enter it. If it's not green, then don't enter because it is uh, not uh, breaking out its support level and may fall down. And that could be an earning, uh, earning release date impact. And when it falls down, then hold on to it for like next three sessions. And after that, you can you can enter it. So whatever has been falling down in three days, it could be regained. Anything else, Kamal, you want to add it here? Some other observations? No, I completely agree with you. Yeah, and this was actually a good observation of yours that the gap up opening after the price, uh, after the earning release date, after a few days. So we can uh, earn from that gap up opening. So, but you don't know, most of the gap up opening is like that's happening during, uh, in the in the pre-market pre session. Most of the, yeah, most of the stocks, they rise in the pre-market. And when the market opens, there is not much charm left in that because those guys who have already bought it, they will sell it and exit. But that selling pressure will make the price to fall down. So you have to take buy this stock before that gap of opening happens. And apparently it's happening after like three days. So let's see how it will react in the coming days. 